If you contract COVID-19 and survive it, you might be entitled to what is called an immunity passport, a certificate that proves you're at less risk of contracting the coronavirus because you've already had it. That will most likely exempt you from some of the restrictions put in place to contain the virus, so you'll be able to leave isolation and go back to work. While immunity passports are not a thing yet, some countries like the UK, Germany and Italy are considering introducing the practice. Immunity passports would potentially help ease lockdowns, get the economy rolling again, bring doctors and other healthcare workers back to their jobs after isolation where they can continue to cure infected patients. But for someone to be given an immunity passport, doctors will first need to check their blood to see if coronavirus antibodies are present. The antibodies indicate that the person has some degree of immunity to the virus. But there are a few issues with the immunity passport. It could potentially give people a sense of false security, as antibody tests are not always accurate or effective, and will need to be carefully validated and approved for use. Scientists also do not yet know if a past infection could prevent reinfection and how long one could stay immune. There are reports from China of people who have been infected twice, and a Japanese tour guide in her 40s from Osaka was reported to have tested positive for COVID-19 twice, even though she had recovered the first time. But it isn't just the science that makes immunity passports potentially problematic. Some people are worried that such a system would grant one group of people more privileges and rights that another group will be missing out on, paving the way for other serious issues. So, does the world really need immunity passports? Will they do more harm than good? <laughs>